So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to change your Anki background to anything you want, any picture on the internet, and I'll give you some good sources for free high definition pictures. Uh, if you don't know me, my name is Zach. I'm a second year medical student in Philadelphia. Let's get into it. So the first thing you wanna do is add a new add-on to Anki. So how do you add a new add-on to Anki? Well, it's really straightforward. Scroll to the top here, go to tools, go to add-ons, and this big window will pop up. Yours will be empty if you have no add-ons, then go to the top right here, click get add-ons. So the code is 12109089941. And then you just hit okay. It'll do a bunch of junk. And then all you do to download it is you just exit out, exit and restart Anki. And when you restart Anki, the application will be installed. So the next thing you wanna do is you wanna find a nice image. Now, if you have your own photo that you really like, or you have a photo like saved somewhere that you really like, you can use that. Um, I personally think Pexels is a great kind of free place for images. These are all Creative Commons, so you can download them, use them kind of as you wish. Uh, I just searched nature and found a bunch of good photos. When you're picking a photo, you wanna pick a photo that's either pretty dark or pretty light. So for example, this photo might work out pretty well. Um, I actually tried this photo and it didn't work out nicely because you have to think your, your text on top of the image is either gonna be black or it's gonna be white. I found like, for example, on this image, black didn't show up too well here or here, it showed up nicely here and here, but when you put a white image in, it doesn't show up nicely here or here, same with this one. Um, so yeah, just look for it. So this might be good for black text, black text. Try to find an image that's fairly minimalistic and also that you can put a black text or white text on top of it. Say you pick an image, like for example, say I pick this nice leafy picture over here. All you gotta do is, thank you so high nah, is you just do free download and then it's right here, right? So the creator behind this application recommends that when you have an image, you set that image to 80% opacity. That just means kind of it's a little more see-through. So I just go to my downloads, hit the image I just downloaded, hit open and this free website. So the free website is lunapic.com. They're not helping me out or anything. It's just a free kind of way to edit. And really simply, all you do is just kind of like take the slider. Obviously, if it's all the way transparent, you can't see it. If it's all the way opaque. You can't see it. Just slide it maybe to wherever 80% is around there. And that's probably pretty good. So you'd hit apply. And then all you do is just hit file, save image, save as PNG slightly transparent image. This is not what I recommend actually, because I found when you make an image more transparent, it doesn't look as nice actually on the Anki background. So I just liked having it kind of fully here as it is here. So you found your image. And it, what I would suggest do is find a bunch of images. I went through about 10 images before I found one that I liked. So you've downloaded a bunch of images. The next thing you need to do is you need to put those images into a specific folder. So once you have your images downloaded, I would go to here and I would make the more opaque one kind of name it with something easy. So I do that Zach one transparent. And I named this one Zach one normal. Then you need to find the special folder in the Anki add-on, which is where you put your new images. So all you do for that is you just go to tools, custom background gear icon. And if you don't see this, it's because you didn't download it properly. So first of all, make sure you have the newest version of Anki and then make sure you have downloaded the correct application, which is that number I said earlier. So you'll hit this, which says background gear image folder. That'll pop up another screen here. And when it first comes up, you'll see background CSS gear. You want to do the one that's background. We're going to get into the rest soon. So you'll see the background and then all you do is just drag your downloaded new folders into this background file here and you'll see them here and they should be under background. So we have these images in the special folder. The next is really simple. You're just gonna to go to tools, back to this custom background gear icon. And instead of hitting folder, you wanna hit config. And this really kind of funky window and scary looking window will pop up. This is kind of one of the reasons I'm making this video because when I first saw this, I was like, what the hell? So the file name that I'm highlighted right here needs to match the file name of the photo you want in the folder I just showed you. So I'll just show you again. If we go back to this background folder right here, remember I have Zach one normal and Zach one transparent.png. So if I did over here, if I did Zach one normal.png, Okay, and you have to restart Anki every time you do this, right? To check it. Okay. 
there. And you can see I have the new background of these nice leaves. But yeah, that's it. Your background is changed and you can just keep going through this process until you find a background you like. Okay, we're gonna get to bonus changes. So bonus change number one is you can change your icon if you want. I like to actually keep it like this just kind of as a remembrance to the on king and all the amazing things he's done so if you want to change the icon it's fairly simple again the first thing you're want to, going to want to do is find an icon that you like so if we go to tools custom background gear icon background image folder right here this folder will pop up again and remember we were just playing with the background folder now we are going to play with the gear folder you'll see there's already a couple built in so if you like some of these you could kind of just plates them in and just see how they look. But if you want maybe a more professional icon, a free kind of professional icon, I think pex or flaticon.com has some really nice things. And you could just search, you could be really simple and just search cogwheel, find a nicer looking fancy cogwheel, like that looks pretty nice. And then what I do is I'd show this in Finder. So I get a pop up here next to it. And then you just drag this right into the gear folder. Easy, right? And then if you want to make this your side gear, you just copy and paste the name in there. Go back to Anki, go back to tools, custom background gear icon, config, and then you change it to inside here where it says image name for gear. And you can see we ha it's black. Um, we'd probably want to change that color to white. You'd have to do that uh, with some other editing. Okay, so now we're going to get into the CSS a little bit. And all you want to do for the CSS is that's if we want to change the color of this text here, the color of our review count here, and the color of our new count right here. So you're just going to go to Tools, Custom Background Gear, go to Custom Background Image Folder again, and you'll see these three folders pop up. You want to go to CSS and find the one that says Custom Deck Browser. The Custom Deck Browser is this thing right here because you're browsing the decks, right? Okay, so you're going to go to Custom Deck Browser, hit Open, and everyone has a text edit file. So open it with a text edit file. I'll show you it right here. So I have my text edit file here. So this is the night mode A deck. This is kind of the basic text right here and that's at white. So if I set this to black, right, which you don't want to do, but I'll show you if you set this to black and then you hit save. So every time you make a change, go to file save and then you have to restart Anki every time you make a change for it to show up. So what you should see if hopefully if I didn't mess this up is that when I open Anki again, the text will be black and that will not look very nice. Yeah, that doesn't look good. So we're going to change that back to white. But again, this won't happen until we restart. But let's say we wanted to change our review count right here. So we'd go to see this dot night mode dot review count, blah, blah, blah. And if this, by the way, if this text file isn't showing up like this, what you can do is you can just open that same text file and literally just copy everything I have written here and paste that kind of into your file. You'll get all these same kind of colors and stuff like that. So it won't necessarily work with your image, but you can kind of play around them. So the first thing you want to do is you just want to Google hex color finder, click on the second link, and this thing will pop up. I've just pasted a random image here, but what you'll want to do is find your image, download it, and bring it into this hex color finder. And it's really cool because you can just scroll around and find a hex color, right? So let's say I wanted to make my review count this nice orange at the top of this mountain. So I'd find this color right here, command C, and then I'd go back here. So my review count right here is this dot night mode dot review count, and it's this hex color right here. So all you do is you copy and paste that number letter combination right after the hashtag here. Go to file, save, make sure your file saving in the text edit. Click on Anki, exit out of Anki and restart it. And when you click out and exit Anki, these changes will come back. So we should get the white text and the kind of reddish orange review count right here, which you do see. So we have your Anking and your reddish orange review count. And that's it. That's changing the colors of your Anki. So one more quick little thing, if you have heat map downloaded and you want to make it really match up stuff, you can just go to review heat map options, which should be down here. And just, you can play around with this to do whatever you want. Like you could hit olive and it'll go olive. It doesn't really look nice with mine. I found that ice looks nice. But yeah, this is just kind of a nice way to play around with your Anki background. Cause it's something that you're going to be looking at like every day or you should be looking at every day. That's it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.